Alrighty, so here is the um, Radeon 6870. We're going to be repasting it today. I just wanted to show you, uh, here's all the tools I'm going to be using. Got uh, some cotton swabs there. Um, new thermal paste. It's um, Cooler Master High Performance Thermal Compound. Got that for about 10 bucks at Micro Center. Uh, a little tissue. Something just to spread the uh, the thermal paste out. Of course, um, this is a grounded strap. Anytime you're working with electronics, you want to have it grounded. Um, it's probably not the best that it's on the cardboard box, but, you know. But uh, yeah, we got a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So we're going to be taking off the back. A little screwdriver kit. And just something to r rub off the, uh, the old thermal compound. I would recommend getting um, Arctic Silver. But uh, this is just what we have. So I think I actually might have some Arctic Silver in, in the back somewhere though. So let me set up real quick. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. We're gonna be taking these uh, little, there's gonna be four little screws. One right here, there, there, and there. Okay, so we're just gonna take those off. I might just use a screwdriver. I got the uh, sealed ones already. Um, already loosened. As you can hear, my grounded strap just fell out, so I gotta grab that. Okay. Like I said, the the uh, sealed one's already loose, so let's get that strap back on. The ground strap's gotta be uh, connected to a, a good ground, you know, so this way you don't shock the board. There's no warranty on this, but, you know. Normally you could loosen up like this anyways. Usually they're loose enough to where you can do this. But it depends. I haven't tested the card yet, so that's another thing. Hopefully it'll come out good. It's always better to test it first before you do this. Well, I guess it depends. Depends if you bought it used, you know. Um, as far as the warranty, ah, there's no real warranty because, you know, it's such an old card, but. All right, so we're just going to separate it. Things get a little confusing with age. All right, so this is just going to separate from here. Pretty easy. Sorry about the camera. Um, be right back for this one. Now, when you go to pull this out, be very careful when you go and separate this heat sink. Make sure you go and um, very, just make sure you do it very easily. Pull this uh, connector, because this wire could definitely break if you pull it a little too hard, or you just rip it apart. So, you know, take, take your time to pull this apart. Okay, so what I like to do here as you can see, I can I got everything apart. Now what I would normally do is you start from here. Um, I'm gonna grab one of these swabs and just kind of like clean the board off. You know, a lot of dirt over here. Wipe the board off. Okay. Wipe the VRM. Sorry if you can't see very well. Uh -oh. All right. So now that we got this uh, swabbed off, um, you know, you could also swap this off. You know, take your time, clean everything, and then next thing I'm gonna do, I have um, VRM VRM heat sinks for these. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the uh, VRM heat sinks for these apply those usually they would uh, these models are 6800s i know 6850 does not have any vrm cooling so you know you can still put okay i'm just gonna show me applying the alcohol to the um the napkin there now once you're ready take your napkin the alcohol on it just scrub as hard as you can 
Sorry. Alright, and then you just scrub. Just like that. Alright. I'm gonna have to scrub a little harder, but basically you see what I'm doing here. And you're gonna scrub right here. The same thing. Scrub until you get it all off. Um, some people go around even pick up the little access around here. You do that with the uh, cotton swab. Alrighty, so next up, we're gonna take the thermal compound and then we're gonna place some. Well, we're gonna apply some on the uh, chip itself. You see, it's like pretty clean, you know. Not the cleanest, but it'll do. Alright, so you're gonna take this thermal compound. You say, you know, put a nice little drop on there. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this, just one moment. Okay, so what we're going to do with this, being that it's a little bit much, um, I mean, it's not much. It's um, more than I prefer, but we're going to nicely apply it to the chip itself. But we're also going to apply it to the cooler. I like to, I've seen other people do this, they, they apply it to the entire chip make sure there's no no spots where you where there's um may, just make sure there's no spots that are not filled in i think that's perfect you want it to be what i hear it's about like a paper sheet thick now with this all right that's no problem um now with this you're gonna go basically there's tend to be lines and like things that create like imperfections what you would normally do is just kind of kind of put this on to like flatten out the lines a little bit let's even it all out So it should be compound all over. Now we're going to put everything back together and we're going to test it. All right, these are the uh, little heat sinks I mentioned for the VRMs. They have their own uh, adhesive. It's going to stick to uh, these VRMs here. They don't have their own cooling, so I'm going to be applying these. All right, now we put everything back together. We're going to put this part on that part. All right. Alrighty, she's back together. There we go. Nice.